make x the subject the formula y is equals to bx divided by the square root of cx squared minus a so to make x the subject of the formula we shall begin by getting rid of this square root sign that you can see here in the denominator uh, to remove that square root sign we shall get the square of both sides so we square both sides of the equation so we square the left hand side uh, where we have y we shall get y squared is equals to uh, we square bx that one will give b squared x squared then the denominator where we have the square root sign when you square that the square root sign will disappear so that we have um, c x squared so this will give us c x squared minus a so the next thing we're going to do we can write this uh, y squared over one and then we cross multiply and these are we're going to cross multiply so y squared multiply by this is uh, c squared not c squared but this is um, c x squared minus a is equals to uh, b squared x squared and multiply by one opening the brackets we get y squared c x squared minus y squared a is equals to b squared x squared now the next thing since we're making x the subject of the formula we're going to group the like terms so you can see we have x and x there we bring them together that you have uh, y squared c x squared then when you bring this on uh, to this side you get b squared then this is uh, x squared then we take y squared a to the right hand side so that one you get y squared a now after doing that uh, you notice that x squared is common so we can factor out x squared when you factor out x squared you remain with the uh, y squared c subtract b squared is equals to y squared a after factoring out x squared since we're making it the subject we divide both sides by y squared c minus b squared so therefore x squared will be given by uh, we shall have y squared a divided by y squared c subtract b squared that is x squared to get x we get the square root of both sides so x is equals to and when you get the square root we shall either get positive or negative number so the square root of this so y squared a divided by y squared c minus b squared and that is how we make x the subject of the formula